In this session, we'll be discussing visible permissions, understanding the different permission types, and when to appropriately apply a visible permission setting. You will encounter visible permission settings when creating forms, folders, albums, and events, and when uploading files, photos, and videos. Visible permissions allow you to set who can and who cannot view the particular item. As you start to create elements and upload data and media, you will have the opportunity to set different levels of visible permissions. To start, the first option is Public. This option makes the item visible to all users within OrgSync. Some portals may have the Public Plus website as the first option. This setting makes the item visible to all users within OrgSync and anyone that searches your organization's website. This option is only available if your organization has created a website using the Website Template Builder feature. Anytime you select this option, the item will automatically be pushed to and visible on the website. The second option is Saginaw Valley. This option makes the item visible to all users within this community. The third option will be your organization. Selecting this permission will make the item visible to only users within your organization. The final option is Selected Groups. This permission works as an internal feature allowing the item to be visible to only select user groups within your organization. To apply the setting you have chosen, just click Add File button. The button name will change depending on what it is you're trying to upload or create. Understanding the different level of permissions will help you appropriately decide who can and who cannot view the forms, folders, albums, and events you create, and files, photos, and videos you upload.